how's it going guys welcome back to my channel i am super excited it's been a minute well not too long it's been a couple of days since i've talked to you guys but i wanted to come back with part four of my beginner series um because i want to make sure that i offer you guys all the information that's needed to help you feel comfortable to make it easier um a, an easier transition going from a beginner to an actual artist, if you guys are aspiring or just want to brush up on your makeup techniques and skills. So I wanna get this series completed, but I also want to make sure that I'm thorough and not missing too much. So um, it's kinda of taking a little bit of time to work out, but without further ado, this video is going to be dedicated to the infamous brows. So, you guys know I brought you my essential tools video, I bought you the primer video, I also bought you the what foundation to choose video. This video is going to be about all about brows. To me, that is the first step in any makeup look, application, of course you prime, moisturize, things like that, but when you're actually going to begin the process of applying your makeup, I always start with my eyebrows first. And so I'm going to give you guys a few tips, a few products and things like that that you guys can pick up to try to do some eyebrows. So first things first is my tools of choice. I have several different tools, but I gravitate to these four most often. And these are a couple of e.l.f. brushes and a Sonia K uh, brush. First, I do like to keep this eyelash brow wand or spoolie, whatever you call it. It looks like this. This one is by e.l.f. and I definitely keep this to keep my brows groomed and in place. So I would definitely encourage you to get one of these to achieve any kind of eyebrow look, whether they're natural brows, you're filling them in, whatever the case may be, definitely get you a brow wand or spoolie because it'll help brush those hairs in place so that it makes it easier for you to achieve your desired arch or look so secondly i definitely like to have a tool to help me um, kind of define my brows and so with that i use this elf concealer brush looks like this very small and that's just to help um, conceal my under eye. I'll talk about that a little bit more in just a second. Then I have this angled brush by e.l.f. And it just has that angled point for the bristles. It looks like this. And this is great for defining my actual line. And then lastly, this detailer brush by Sonia K is the one that I love. It's very thin. It already has product on it from doing my brows earlier. And I like to use a thin brush like this. And I will just uh, talk about why in just a second. So, medians, products. What do I use? Why? What are the benefits of having all these different eyebrow options in the store? Because everyone's technique and everyone's skin is different. So, my most used product for doing my brows is an eyebrow pencil. Simple brow pencil, just like this. They can range anywhere from $1 to $10 to $25, depending on the brand. But you definitely want a good pencil. And when I say good pencil, I mean one that's pigmented. So if you use black, brown, whatever the shade you use, it shows up. Um, I had one of mine already open. I have to open one of these. So this is the NYC and it actually says Cole Brow Eyeliner Pencil. This is a brow pencil. It's made for the brows, for the eyes, and this is a really good brand. And I do love Cole pencils over any other type of brow pencil. Um, because it just lasts longer. It doesn't tend to run when your eyes get wet or watery. So I like a cold pencil for those reasons. This one is very great. As you know, when I say easy, it just glides on like that. You can see it. It doesn't take a lot of effort. 
beginner, that's great because you want to be able to see what you're doing quickly and you don't want to have to keep making harsh marks because then it may look like it's caked up. You guys, the brows are important to me, okay? <laughs> but needless to say, my choice first is a pencil. They're easy to work with. They last longer and if you mess up, you can take it off. But it also has a really good point to where you can define your brows and define your arch. So I would try a pencil definitely for first timers. Now, there are those people that like to use powders and I love the Lorac Take a Brow. It looks like this and it has two shades of brown, one dark and one light brown. Also some gel, mine got dirty. Don't mind me, I've had this for a long time. This does last. So this um, is the dark brown, this is the light brown. I definitely use the darkest brown because I like my brows to not be black, but to be a darker shade. So if you do like a powder option, once you get comfortable um, filling in your brows, defining your arch, finding your arch, then a powder might be feasible if you have really thick eyebrows or if you have a lot of natural hairs. So I will say that if most of your eyebrow, meaning 70% or more is natural hairs, a powder uh, might be good for you just to fill it in. And again, with that being said, there are some key points for the eyebrows and you don't want to extend past the point of your eye and you don't want to overextend past the dent in your eye, meaning the crease, meaning where your eye actually closes from the top and the bottom. So at this angle, you don't want to overextend the brow and you don't want to go too far up from the actual point of where your eye meets. That's just a rule of thumb, quick tip, thank me later. Next, there are some other options, gels, pompades, creams. So I have a few that I absolutely love and I will start with this e.l.f. cream eyeliner. It's meant for the eyeliner, but you can definitely use this to fill in your brows. This one is in black, but they also do have a brown, which I love, but I'm just for the purposes of this video, I'm going to use what I have. And that's where this angle brush will come into play because you can just apply the product very lightly to the angle brush. If you need to remove some for the excess on your hand, you can do so. It's very easy to work with. It's very creamy. And so I wouldn't recommend this for a beginner, but this is a great option once you learn how to fill in and define your brows, an option to use. It does last long. I love it. It's easy. I like to mix it up sometimes. So it creates a little bit of diversity in my makeup routine. So I would definitely go with a gel once you get a little bit more experienced and all I do with the gel is just go through and outline my line with really small strokes and then I might come to the tip here and make strokes going upward to look a little bit more natural but with the gel it looks amazing. There's also Dip Pompage. This one by Anastasia is very popular. I'm in the color chocolate and it does the same thing. You just apply this to fill in your brows. This stuff lasts forever, so it's definitely worth the money. But again, I wouldn't recommend this for beginners, maybe someone that's more seasoned or have experience with arching and defining to be able to use the gel or the Pompage. Pencil's my first recommendation. And then I have a few products that I like to use to clean up my brows. Underneath my brow and above to create more of a sharp line, I like to use the Studio Finish Concealer by MAC. This one's almost empty, but I only do one shade lighter than my skin tone for the bottom and my actual shade right above it. So NC50 and like NC45 is what I use to conceal. This works perfect and it lasts forever you guys if you want a inexpensive option because those are on the pricey side then you might want to try the la girl pro concealers like these and again same method one above the eye in your skin tone and one shade lighter for below to kind of clean up and conceal um, any mistakes you made doing your brows I am going to do an eyebrow tutorial video soon for you guys. If you want to see that, please let me know. 
if you have any questions about any of the products, pricing, where you can pick them up. Um, let's see. The Elf Cream Liner I know is in Target and Walmart. The LA Girl Pro is in any beauty supply store in your area. The MAC Concealer for concealing and cleaning up your brows is in Dillard's. And then the Lorac Take a Brow Brow Powder. I got this one from Ulta. So you guys, that's my tips for brows. I hope it helps you decide how to begin to start to achieve your desired looks. I hope those products were helpful in helping you decide on which products will work best for you and your methods. And if you have any questions, as always, please feel free to comment. Follow me on social media. All that's going to be down below, as always. And that's it, y'all. Until next time.